Working with a variety of sizes of photographs in Premiere Pro can, at first blush, seem to be quite a challenge because images can be quite large, much larger than high definition of 1920 by 1080, or sometimes they can be smaller, so you're constantly in need of adjusting the size of your image. As a matter of fact, this image that I have loaded in my source monitor is much larger than the sequence. If I drag it into my timeline, and I look at it, we can see that a lot of this image is cropped. And I want to be able to quickly solve this problem. To do that, I can right click on a clip and choose one of two options, scale to frame size and set to frame size. And before I do this, I'm going to step into the effects control tab so you can see exactly what happens. When I right click and I choose scale to frame size, it fits into the frame, but if you look at the scale slider, that has not been affected. So what Premiere has done is rasterize the image to make it smaller, and now if I want to grow that image, I'm actually losing some resolution. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that, and instead of doing that, I'm going to use set to frame size. And when I do set to frame size, take a quick look at what happens to the scale area within my effects control panel. It scales the image, but in this case, it actually says it's going down to 53% of its original size. Because it's actually scaling this dynamically, I can go back and make it just a little bit bigger so I don't have to worry about seeing the edges of the frame, which are black. So I'm going to just scale this up a little bit. And if I wanted to, while I have this window open, I can go ahead and reposition the framing of this image. So this is a much better solution than using scale to frame size. And you can do this with a group of images. So if I go ahead and I bring in multiple images, and I'll just select these six, the first one I've already selected, but we'll bring it in again. And now I have all of these images in. Some are too small, some are too large. I can actually lasso them all, right click, and now I'm going to set them all to frame size, and all of my images now will fit. If I want to, I can keep them in their current aspect ratio, so my viewer can see my entire photograph, or I can step through and open each one in the effects control panel and scale it up and reposition it if I want it to fill the frame. If you want to learn more, please join us in Adobe Premiere Pro CC Video Editing, The Complete Guide, with me, Abba Shapiro.